good afternoon my friends welcome back to the channel hitchhiking yeti here and boy do i have a little bit of an adventure ahead of me today is we are going to head up into the foothills of the appalachian mountains to check out this house there is a property there a home and a fence that surrounds this home adorned in coffee mugs and not just one or two try upward of 30,000 coffee mugs lines this house and decorated all along the porch i think on the outside the i mean everything is coffee mugs and we have actually brought my wife is with me today we have actually brought a coffee mug with us that if you can find an empty nail there on the property you can hang a mug yourself and kind of donate to the cause pretty cool i have to see this in person that's why i'm here i actually stopped at this barbecue joint right here off of uh, 321 here in Lenore and they used to have a big boy statue here like you remember Shoney's had the big boy hamburger well they actually had one here for, for quite a while but at the moment of this recording the big boy is now gone so I hated I kind of missed out I was kind of saving to start my video here I wanted to start it here and show the big boy and then move forward there is one other place not too far from here we're going to stop at it's something called the witch's keyhole so i don't know there, there's a story that goes with that i'm going to tell you about it when we get there but uh for right now we got a little bit of driving to do i have me a starbucks coffee pumpkin spice latte very very tasty and i thought this was a good tie-in because we're actually going to go donate a coffee mug today and look at a bunch of coffee mugs that's attached to a house so coffee is hitting the spot right now because it is a little cool today so uh that being said friends thank you for joining me today let's get our little adventure started right now all right friends we're making a little pit stop before we get to the coffee mug house but now i'm at trinity methodist church located here in downtown lenore north carolina and this is a very interesting spot because this is the location where the witch's keyhole is and to give you a little back st story to the witch's keyhole back in the 1800s there was a guy by the name of george powell and his cabin burned to a crisp burned down and supposedly legend says it was a witch that did it she burned his house down and some people even say she burned down multiple houses so when george built the house back he built, for whatever reason, I don't know if it was uh, old folklore or what, but he built a keyhole. They call it the witch's keyhole. And he built it because, from a spiritual standpoint, if there's anything in that house, like a witch or, a, or, a, or anything evil, it gives them a way out. They, they post to, for whatever reason, it posts to make them exit the house. And some people says it worked because his house lasted all the way into the 1970s when they removed it and then they built this church so the witch's keyhole that was in his house is still here right here on this sign this brick sign for the trinity methodist church and to see it you just have to walk around here to the front and right here is the keyhole okay, so now we just kind of move in a little bit closer and there it is that is the witch's keyhole you can see it's in the shape of a keyhole and i guess this black right here is the original brick from his house that's left over and um, so when they removed his house they kept this section i would imagine that's what i read and uh and then just built this brick signage with the tree and the little planter around it just to keep it that way you got a little uh, little story to go along with the area. You know, this is uh, Halloween's right around the corner. And there'll be a lot of, you know, Halloween's always kind of got some witches attached to us. So I thought this would be kind of a cool stop to show. Neat little story to go along with it. The witch's keyhole, pretty awesome. So that being said, that's all we were going to look at here today. Now we're going to get back in the car and head up north a little bit further into the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. To check out our coffee mug house can you believe it 
20 to 30,000. I think it's upper to 30,000 now. At one time, I, I read an older story that said it was 20,000, and now it's been bumped up to 30,000. 30,000 coffee mugs. And we're gonna leave them one. If we can find an empty spot, if they, they have like a vacant nail or something, they say it's okay to, to donate a coffee mug. So uh, that's exactly what I wanna do. I picked out the perfect one, and it's gonna prove the Hitchhiking Yeti was at the, the coffee mug house. All right, let's go. All right, we're getting closer, and boy, we are in the country. It's a one-lane road. You don't see these every day. Look at that beautiful stream right there. That is awesome. I mean, we are in the backwoods of North Carolina. And now the road goes from pavement to like a gravel dirt road. And unfortunately, there's a, another vehicle coming. We're gonna get out of his way right here. Uh, here friends there it is it's real check that out God. that not awesome all right friends I have made it to the Collettesville coffee mug house check out all these coffee cups or mugs ain't that something so Avery and Doris Sisk bought a lot of 750 coffee mugs for about $15 at a Hickory Flea Market over 20 years ago. Avery and his sister Ruby started hanging the mugs in a corner on the front porch of the cabin and the legend soon grew, it says. Since then, their collection has ballooned to nearly 30,000 mugs and now lines the fence and the archway and, yes, a second house right there. So uh, that is pretty awesome. This is amazing. You do not see stuff like this every day. That is for sure. But just look at all these different mugs they got here. It's very peaceful out here. I know that. There was some uh, some local, two local uh, younger girls over here. They, uh, how kind were they? I mean, you have a stranger just pull up and they immediately said, hey, how you doing? You know, we started talking and they actually, um, their parents actually knew the couple that lived here that started all this. Look, there was somebody that was a Patriots fan. That's an old school helmet. That looks more like the Patriots from the early 90s. That was not that was like pre-Tom Brady era for sure. But just check this out. This is unbelievable to see all these mugs out here. A lot of Christmas mugs. And I did bring a mug of myself that I'm going to donate. Right up there is a... Look at that one. It's like a UK flag. A lot of American flag mugs up here at the top. Even the line up here on the top, like right up against the roof. All these mugs. fascinating here's some more Christmas mugs right here we have Santa Claus all kinds of Christmas mugs right there in a row so before I go on the porch they actually have a place where we can sign this right here reminds me of the old chairs inside of the McDonald's when I was a kid remember those little mini sections for kids you don't see that no more but that's what that reminds me of a little bit. Who knows, maybe that came from a McDonald's at one time. But yeah, I'm over here on this second house now. I see, uh, that's a very popular mug. I love New York, has the light just come on. Look, they got this sandbox right here. Look at these old toys. That's probably about what my sandbox looked like when I was a child. I mean, they are coffee mugs everywhere. Have to find me a 
an empty nail that I can hang my cup on. A lot of Christmas mugs. Look at that. All the way down here through here. I like that sign right there. Welcome to our cabin. Oh man, check out these uh, license plates from all these different states. Ohio, South Carolina, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Missouri, West Virginia, the Mountaineer State. There's Nevada, Michigan, Missouri. That's so cool. Maine. Look at this big Florida mug right here. I think that's the biggest mug I've seen yet. It's got almost like an oversized mug. Check that out. Planet Hollywood. This is so fascinating to me that you have all these mugs. That dog's a barking. He ain't gonna bark at me. I ain't hurting none. He ain't his house. This is actually uh, just kind of an abandoned home now, is what the girls told me. And uh, people come from all over to uh, come look at this. Magnificent <laughs> spectacle of coffee mug goodness. All right, there's only one thing left to do now. And oh yeah, by the way, they do have a private toilet here on site. So now we just make our way over here. I'm gonna kind of walk through here. I want to leave the uh, the front porch to last. Just take it all in while I'm here. Looks like somebody was drinking a few cups of something out here. Avery T. Sisk. So that was one of the owners. The little signs up here. I'm not really sure what happened to the owners. I think they passed away, maybe. But this place is just kind of sitting here. It's in a beautiful little area. That's pretty cool, I like that. Peppers. I didn't really see any mug that really stood out to me. You know, yet. You know, like First Union, I see a lot of stuff like that over here. Tea mug. A lot of these mugs are very generic or it looks like some of these holiday ones is just like, okay, holiday's over, we got too many, let's go donate them to the mug house. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel. Probably happened. A lot of holiday mugs out here. To look at oh yeah me and my wife we love m&ms had to give out a little hello hello got your snowman more holiday a lot of holiday stuff right here we have a jack-o-lantern mug and we have some way over here on the corner too and that near is uh, actually disappeared just the handles left. Right here is a, ooh, right here, there's a nail. Guess what? That might be a good place to put my mug. Maybe. Let's not, let's not jump the gun yet. We ain't went up on the porch. We might find something kind of cool up there. So let's walk on around there and go to the porch. And not only are they on the porch, but they're up in the, like the truss of the porch <laughs> on these planks. Also, look at that old kettle pot right there. My mom's got one like that. When she still builds her fire at home, she will pour water in that. And just to have the water vapor, you know, to not make it so dry in the house. And 
and right here is where you sign that you have been here before and that's exactly what we're going to do me and my wife we're both going to sign it look at that wow that is a relic in its own right kerosene lantern, lantern right here maybe corn whiskey yeah that's an old hillbilly look at his feet I would imagine with this water right here maybe somebody around here has maybe brewed a little bit back in the day all kinds of cool stuff I like this little cabin right here on this water. There's a bird nest. What do they call those? Gourds? Old gourd makes good bird nests. That's what my grandma used to tell me. She used to have some gourds out in the front yard. Few of them hung out, a hole in them. All right. So that being said, donuts. Oh look, more donuts. So the time has come. Let's go sign it. A few mosquitoes back here starting to like my legs a little bit so uh we're gonna sign it and wrap this thing up now because the mosquitoes man i don't i don't i don't dig that let's not go with the mosquitoes i didn't come all the way up here from the beach to get attacked from mosquitoes up here in the mountains <laughs> So I found me a spot over here next to the second home. We're gonna put our hitchhike, it's just a coffee mug we got at Dollar Tree. We totally put our sticker on it. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna hang out right here. Right there we go. So if you come here, there is our donation. Here's our coffee mug, right there it is. All right, I don't know how long gotta stay in one piece out here. I do see some of the mugs on the ground especially right here along the uh, the fence you'll see some of them like right over here yeah all right so that will be pretty much it we're all done here today thank you so much for watching this is a fun adventure hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed making it until next time friends I am the hitchhiking Yeti and I will see you in our next adventure together. So long. Y'all stay safe. Hope to see you again soon.